Hey YouTubers. Um, I got a question for you guys today. I don't know how to handle this. I'm probably not going to do anything about it, but it just kind of frustrates me. So as I told you in my last video, this year I went and bought a brand new 2023 Honda Goldwing. And I bought it when it had 14 miles on it. That's when I test drove it. I think I took it back. It had like 24. I only didn't test drive it very long. And I took it back and by the end of the day I ended up buying it. I drove it for, I don't know, a week, something like that. I noticed this ticking noise in my engine. So I took it back to him the next week. I'm guessing it had like 300 miles on it, maybe, maybe four. I, you know, I, I'm not sure. I don't remember. And I took it to my, the guy I bought it from. And I told him what it was doing. And he went and got a mechanic. And the mechanic came out and he listened to the sides of the engine. And he told me, he said, he would like to listen to it and go, go into it a little bit deeper. So I said, okay, that's fine. He said it was okay to, to drive it. He, he decided that what it was is um, one of the valves must not got, have been adjusted correctly. So he said he thinks it's probably okay to drive it. So the guy I bought it from, he was a lot of help. He, um, it was actually about a month out and from getting it into the service shop, but he was able to get it in in there a week and a half to two weeks early on something like that and he was really good about getting it in and he's really good about um, keeping me informed of what's going on with it his name is CJ so if you ever go in there ask for CJ because he's treated me really good so far anyway I CJ knew that I wanted it back the next day because I was taking the next day off to go riding. So I had him change the oil too. By the time I got it in there, I had like four or I think 1,200 miles on it. And about one o'clock in the afternoon, maybe not quite that late, maybe it was more like 11. I got a call from the service manager, and she informed me that adjusting valves. We're not is not part of the warranty for Honda but since it was such low miles she was going to try to get Honda to fix it anyway so I I mean I was kind of dazed at that point I I didn't know how to feel about it I, you know it's not like I bought a used bike or something like that I, I mean I bought this bike when it was when it was like that. So I kind of felt like, you know what, even if Honda wasn't going to cover it, why, why should I? I bought this bike from them, and what she told me was, if I wanted to pay for the valves, if Honda did not respond back to them yet, if I wanted to pay for the valves being adjusted, then I could do that, and if Honda paid for it, then they would just reimburse me. Um, the more I thought about that, it, it really bothered me. Like I said, it's I, I, I bought a brand new bike for a reason, to have the warranty. It's not like I had 5,000 miles or 10,000 miles on it. They just needed to be adjusted. I mean, it was, like I said, this was something that I felt like either Honda or the service people, I don't know how, how they come, if they come with the valves already adjusted or what. Either way, I just felt like they should they should take care of it rather Honda did or the people the company I bought it from so my question is do you think I'm in in the right here I told the person I bought it from after that and I told him how I felt and his comment was he said Sean don't worry about it I'm sure Honda will take care of it and I told him I said you know even if they don't take care of it, I feel like you guys should because you guys sold me the bike. And anyway, he pretty much agreed with me and he was going to go talk to the service manager. 
after that, I don't know what happened for sure. I got a call from the service manager probably about an hour later and she said that she had got off the phone with Honda and Honda said that they would fix it. But my question is, is even if Honda wouldn't have fixed it, do you guys feel like since they sold me the brand new bike that they should have fixed it for me? I don't know, my feelings I guess is I'm a plumber and if I put a water heater in and something doesn't work, I still feel like I need to go and get it fixed for them. Either put a new one in or fix whatever's wrong with it. That's my feelings anyway. Anyway, just tell me your thoughts. I'd just like to know what everybody's thoughts are on it. I appreciate it. Thanks for listening, guys.